Yo, what up, fam? Hey, let me uh, let me explain something real quick in terms of rappers, mainstream rappers giving back to the culture of hip hop. Because I know a lot of people, obviously, I've been going hard on Eminem and his cultural appropriation and all of that. And I see so many comments people don't understand. They think, you know, they think, oh, he gives to charity. He gives money. You know, he does a few songs here and there. And it's not just him. You know, it's a lot of rappers. It's most rappers, mainstream rappers. But the thing is, check it. It's not enough for a rapper to give, you know, these rappers in particular, the big ones who make hundreds of millions, even billions now of dollars off a of rap, off the culture, to give back a measly few thousand, even hundreds of thousands to charities. Charities which are tax write-offs, meaning they get that money back. That ain't real. That ain't really giving back, y'all. For real, let's be honest with ourselves. Even if they weren't tax write-offs, do you really consider a rapper who has made hundreds of millions, some of them billions even at this point, Dr. Dre, Diddy, Jay-Z's on his way. Billions, hundreds of millions even. You think it's enough for them to give back a couple hundred thousand? That's the equivalent of me having a hundred dollars and giving 10, 20 cents to someone in need. You're not going to look at me like I'm some kind of philanthropic, you know, hero. Nah, fam, that's weak. But besides that, however much they give back is tax write-offs. And most of them have their own charitable organizations, which are all sketchy anyway. So that is not enough. That is not enough. And however much you value the culture, that's how much you're going to expect back from these rappers who have made a fortune off of the culture that I love. Maybe you don't love it, but I do. And that's why I'm always going to raise my voice and stand up for the culture. And I myself, as an MC, I give back everything I do because it's not just about money. I don't have a lot of money to give back. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't make a lot of money. I don't, I, I'm broke pretty much. I mean, I give all my music away for free anyway. But the point is, in this day and age, even more than giving money, even more important than giving money is using your voice, using your platform to address socio-political issues, particularly issues that impact people of the culture, meaning black people, minorities. You understand what I'm saying? They are the ones who created the culture. So it is our responsibility as people who profit from the culture in one way or another, and that means whether you're white or not, but especially white people, it is our responsibility to give back. And the best way to do this is to raise our voices and to use our platforms. And no one could tell me that a rapper like Eminem, who has, you know, 30 million subscribers on, on YouTube, however many millions of followers on Instagram, and that he's using his platforms adequately. With his voice. Oh, he did a he did a song 10 years ago. Oh, he dissed Trump. Oh, I don't care. That's not enough. Look at rappers like look at rappers, mainstream rappers in particular, that are actually really utilizing their platform. Rappers like T.I., Killer Mike, Lupe Fiasco, Chance the Rapper. Uh, who else do we got out there? Uh, the game, even. You know what I'm saying? Like Macklemore, if we want to talk about white rappers, he's really the only mainstream white rapper really using his platform. But these are rappers. Go look at them. They be on the front line. They be out at protests. They do. They use their social media, everything they can do to bring awareness to these issues. Now, compare them to Eminem. And you going to tell me it's the same? Nah, fam. And I'm not I'm not even going to get into the underground rappers like because that's really. You know, that's really where it's at when you want to look, talk about MCs like KRS-One, Immortal Technique, Low Key, Akala, Beast 1333, Logic from the UK, myself, of course, my whole Get Big, uh, Get Big Click, Get Big Fam. Like, we're not even going to talk about rappers like myself and the rest that I just named because we're the ones who have devoted our entire lives. Everything we do revolves around speaking up for the culture and for the cause and you know what I'm saying and take us taking a stand for all different various socio-political um issues and things that relate to the culture let's not even talk about that just look at the aforementioned mainstream artists that I that I mentioned and compare them to Eminem and get your emotions out of the picture and if you could really objectively say that he's using his platform to give back then you just delusional you can't say that. You know, this is a this is a, a white rapper 
who has profited more than any other rapper from the culture. Well, not more than any other rapper, excuse me, but he's up there with the most, you know, with the rappers overall who's profited the most, but more than any white rapper. Yet, you hardly, you barely hear from him. You know what I'm saying? Like, if dude was really, really about it, he would be out all the time using, listen, he doesn't even control his own social media. He doesn't even run his own social media. How can somebody who doesn't even run their own social media be making a real social impact when social media is, in fact, one of, if not the best ways to make an impact in today's day and age, to reach your followers, your huge platform, millions of followers that he has, and never once do you hear him posting, tweeting, saying anything about these issues on social media. Give me a fucking break. Get your emotions out of it. Look at it objectively. It's not enough. It's not enough for these rappers to, you know, put out a, 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 a Trump diss like Eminem did oh, so conveniently a month before his album drops. No, that's not enough for me. That's not enough. It's not enough for him to drop a, a song 10 years ago about George Bush. It's not enough for him to once in a while drop a bar here and there about something, um, something meaningful. That's not enough for me. It's not enough for him to give, you know, a couple hundred thousand here and there. For, for God's sakes, he hasn't even given back to Flint, to, to the water crisis in Michigan, his home state of Michigan that he reps. He could rep the hood when it's in his interest, when he can profit off of it. But how, how are rappers like The Game and other rappers Diddy and giving back more to his own home state than he is? So even with the money, he's not on point. But forget the money. Because like I said, money is easy. Y'all don't really understand the industry and the way that, that, that charities work. That shit is so easy to, to, to use as a tax write-off to just, you know, to, pre to present an appearance. To present this image of, of, of a philanthropic, you know what I'm saying, type of celebrity. That shit ain't real. You know what I'm saying? What's real is getting out there, putting yourself, your career on the line even, and, and taking a stand, speaking out, using your platform. You got millions of fucking people following you. Millions of stands who, who, who hang on your every word, yet you barely, barely use your voice. Because even when you do it in music, one could still argue that well, you're just doing it to sell records. You're just doing it to be controversial. But when you take a stand in interviews and when it's not in your interest, when you don't got no album coming out, that's when you know that it's fucking real. Otherwise, dead that shit. No one can sit up here and tell me, oh, Eminem's giving back. He's real. Nah, fam. I just, I listed, I named at least a handful of mainstream artists. There's psh, a loads of underground artists who are real examples of giving back, myself included. This ain't about me, but go check my catalog. For those of you wondering, oh, who are you? Who gives you the right? Listen, I've been hip hop all my life, all my life, in the streets, doing everything, graffiti, battling, rapping, giving back in every way that I can now currently. Everything I do revolves around giving back some way, whether it's, you know what I'm saying, through my music, putting out a message, a, a socio-political messages, uplifting people of the culture, doing everything I can. You know what I'm saying? Using my platform to spread knowledge, to spread information, to try to address these issues that matter to the culture and to the people of the culture. That's giving back. So don't come at me talking about, oh, Eminem's giving back. Nah, fam, you picked the wrong one. Because I know it's not just me. I know all, all my people, everybody that I know, everybody that I run with is real to this hip hop shit. And everybody that knows me and knows us knows what time it is. So, you know, you could say you could think what you want, say what you want. But, you know, real recognizes real. And that's you know what I'm saying? So. In the end of the day, it's not about me. It's not I don't care. I don't want props. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Eminem ain't going to hear what I have to say. None of these rappers are going to hear what I have to say. I'm trying to educate. Again, I'm doing this for the culture because I fucking love the culture. Do you understand? It's in my heart. It made me. I don't know where I'd be. I'd be dead. I'd be locked up. I don't know what I would be doing if it wasn't for the culture of hip hop. It raised me. My father didn't raise me. You know what I'm saying? My father didn't show me how to be a man. The streets did. Hip hop did. And I'm forever indebted to it especially as a white person, as a, as a son of immigrants. You know, my parents were immigrants. I was first generation in Chicago. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Came up in the hood, like, 
not on the south side, west side, not in the worst parts, but nonetheless, the hood, the area that I was from, it was very diverse. North side, Chicago, Rogers Park, Evanston. So regardless, the point is hip hop raised me. Hip hop made me. And I love it. I stand for it. I defend it. I will give back to it every way that I can. And I'm not going to sit back and let these fucking sellout ass puppet rappers make hundreds of millions, billions of dollars off of the culture and give back a little bit, a little fucking throw a little crumbs back. And because they have they have stands and all they obsessed idol worshiping ass fans, they give them a pass. That's OK. Nah, that's not fucking OK. It's not OK at all. And I ain't going to be quiet. I mean, you're you going to keep fucking hearing about it from me. So if you don't like it, bounce. Unfollow me. Dip. Peace.